Hello and welcome. I am sure all of you understand that in the field of electronics, multimeter is a very important tool. Without a multimeter, you will not be able to measure anything in the field of electronics. So come, let us try and understand how we can use the multimeter to measure AC and DC voltage and how we can check other electronic components. Now, as you can see, the device in front of you is a multimeter. In fact, this is actually a digital multimeter. The reason why we call this a digital multimeter because this measures and gives you the results in the form of digits. As you can see, the digits are very clearly displayed on the screen and that is one of the reasons why this is called a digital multimeter because digits will help you understand the results of whatever you are checking very easily. Come, let us go and understand how we can use this and what are the safety features that you need to keep in mind. Now, first of all, you need to understand what probes are. Now, as you can see, there are two probes which are commonly used with all multimeters. The first one is a black colored one, the second one is a red colored one. And these two probes, probes have very specific positions where you need to place them on the multimeter. Now, the first one is a black probe. Now, the black probe has to be placed at a point where it is written as COM, which basically signifies a common range. So, the black probe has to be placed only in the common range. Place it there and press it and it will fit in tightly there. Right above that, you will see a symbol where it is written as voltage ampere MA. This is where you take readings of voltage, ampere, etc., and you place the red probe here. Press it tightly so it can fit in. Right above that is another point where you can check higher uh, values of electricity. However, commonly in a multimeter, we normally use the red and black probes and that is more than enough to measure a lot of the electronic components. Now, let us try and understand what are these other readings that are displayed on the multimeter. Now, on the left hand side, the top left hand side, you will see something written as V followed by a dash and a few dots there. Now, this is the symbol for DC. So, on the left hand side, basically when you turn the knob to the left, you will be able to check the DC voltage. Somewhere ranges in the, uh, where the range is between 20 volts to 1000 volts. So, you can check DC voltage by placing the knob at the respective voltage point. If you have a smaller voltage uh, to be checked, you can place it at 20 volts and higher voltage you can go on up to 1000 volts to measure DC voltage. On the right hand side, you see something like a V followed by an ampersand sign. Now, this is where on the right hand side, you check the AC voltage. The range is between 200 volts to 750 volts. Now, smaller equipments which require 200 volts or less require the knob to be placed at the 200 volts point. Higher value equipments can be measured using the 750 volt point. So, these are the two most important ways of measuring AC and DC voltage using a multimeter. Now, whenever the multimeter is not required, the knob should be placed in the off position. Now, going further down, you will see a few more micro readings on the right hand side, which is for smaller readings that can be measured using the multimeter. However, let us focus on only those readings that are very important that we commonly use using a multimeter. So, let us go ahead and try and understand a few more checking components. Now, right below the uh, DC voltage, you will see a few ohm readings given there. This is where you place the knob to check the value of resistance when you check electronic equipments which ranges from 200 ohms to 2000 kilo ohms and that is how you turn the knob there. You can place it at the respective point and check the resistance value. 
The next one that we will understand is where we, the continuity or beep testing comes. Now, this is a very essential component when you do, uh, when, this is an essential test when you are doing tracing uh, or testing of mobile PCBs or any PCB for that matter. This reading or this point is called the beep or continuity testing and when you place it here and touch the probes together, you will hear a beep sound. Now, the beep sound is very distinct here, but let us try and understand why, what is, what is the reason behind this beep sound. Why do we use this continuity testing? Now, the reason why we do this beep testing is, for example, when we are checking a wire and we want to check whether the wire is broken in between. Typically, broken wires are called open wires. So, if you want to check whether the wire is broken from inside, now you will not be able to find it out looking at it from the outside. So, in order to check the continuity, we use the beep or continuity testing, which means you touch the two ends of the probe using the two ends of the wire using the black and red probe and if you hear a beep sound, which means that the circuit is not open, the wire is proper. But if you do not hear a beep, it means that the circuit is broken somewhere and you need to fix it. Now, this is also used while doing tracing on a printed circuit board to check whether two points are connected properly. Now, let us try and uh, understand how we can check AC and DC voltage. Now, at home, typically the voltage that we have is between 220 or 230 ohms. We will turn the knob now and place it at the 750 volt AC point and we will connect this to the main power plug to check the voltage. Now, in many of the houses, it is between 220 and 230 volts, the 230 volts voltage is usually available at the circuit boards. For example, in your room, there are uh, switches which are available on the board. So, typically you also have a plug point in this board. So, at this plug point or at these points, you will normally get 220 or 230 volts electricity at your house. And whenever you want to check whether you are getting the right voltage or not, you use the multimeter, place it, place the knob at the 750 volt position and we try and place the two probes in two points on the plug point. Now, as you can see, the wires are being plugged in into two points on your plug point and this is exactly where you get 220 to 230 volts. So, the probes are placed there. Once the probes are placed there and as you can see, we can see the reading here, it shows 244 volts. Now, remember, uh, this is actually um, AC voltage. Typically, uh, in this kind of a voltage, there is always an up and down and sometimes the voltage can go down and sometimes the voltage is normally higher. When the voltage goes down, that is when you have problems and your uh, fan and uh, your lights may not really work properly um, and that is called a low voltage. So, you will always find some differences there. So, here you saw 244 volts. Now, let us move on and check DC voltage. So, we are going to be using a battery booster to test this. So, we have switched on the battery booster. This is a device that is used to boost mobile phone batteries. And we are going to connect the output wires of this to the probes. And we are going to be testing the voltage of the output. Now, we connect the two output wires of the booster to the two probes of the multimeter. Make sure that you connect it to the right end. So, the black and the black, red and the red and you can see this is around 13.22 volts. So, this is the DC voltage uh, that we have measured and you can measure DC voltage by placing it at the, the knob at the right position on the DC voltage section. So, whenever this is typically how you do your measurements of AC and DC voltage and whenever you are uh, done with using the multimeter, please switch it off because typically all these multimeters uh, have a battery inside them. So, the battery is what gives the power to the multimeter to display the digits on the screen. So, if you keep it switched on, the battery can drain off very easily and you may not be able to use it when you need it the most. Hence, it is important to ensure that you keep the device switched off when not in use.
So, as you can see in this video, we tried understanding what a digital multimeter is, how the probes work, where the probes need to be placed, how we can measure AC and DC voltage, how we can check continuity. Going forward, we will see a lot more, we will collect a lot more information about how we use this tool in different streams including mobile repairing, electronics repairing, etc. Thank you very much and see you soon.